I'm Max Kim for CHTV. Earlier this month, I talked with Dr. Ostrich about how CHS students can continue to slow the spread of COVID-19, as well as his thoughts on the school's response to the pandemic. My name's Dr. Tom Ostrich. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Staff and Student Services. Our students can do a lot to assist us with keeping our schools open. Avoid those large gatherings uh, when you're outside of school. Continue to wash your hands when you're at home. Continue to wear your mask when you go out. Um, and a lot of those mitigation strategies that we've shared with our students and our families, continue to follow those, not just at school, but do the best you can when you're out and about in the community. I know our athletic department at Carmel High School is doing an amazing job with following all of the guidelines set by the IHSAA, as well as the State Department of Health and the Hamilton County Health Department. So currently, we are continuing on status quo, and uh, everything is going as uh, best it can at this time. I'd like to say thank you to our students who are doing an amazing job following our health and safety protocols, but I'd like to say to the students, Thank your teachers, thank your administrators, thank your custodians, thank, you, thank your office personnel, your administrative assistants, um, thank your bus driver, thank the cafeteria workers, because all of us are working so hard to ensure that you have the opportunity to come to school. And as you know, not all districts have that same opportunity. Many districts are 100% virtual and may have been to school for two to three weeks and then they've been virtual and don't even have the choice or the option to come to school. So thank everybody at Carmel High School because they are doing everything they can to keep our students in school. And a special thank you to me, from me to all of our staff and our students for all you are doing every single day.